Hey, what's going on guys? This video is going to be a little bit different than what I'm used to making. This is kind of like a rant video and it's a rant video about the title, why Christians are leaving Christianity. And what gave me this idea for this video was that just recently a guy named Paul Maxwell, who was a writer for Desiring God, John Piper's um, like website, vlog, blog, whatever it is, very knowledgeable in ap apologetics. He has a doctorate from Trinity Evangelical School of Divinity. He spent years and years studying and um, writing and, and debating and defending the Christian faith. And now all of a sudden he's come out and says he no longer um, is a Christian. He, he rejects Christianity. And he's not the only one. There's been others like John Steinberg from Hawk Nelson uh, a year or so ago decided he didn't believe in God. Um, Mark something from Hillsong, one of the worship leaders, worship pastors, he decided that he no longer is sure about his faith. Um, there was a Christian author not too long ago who wrote a lot of relationship books within the Christian circle and he's he's rejecting Christianity. It's just turned into a pandemic at this point. And so as I was reading this, I'm wondering why in the world are Christians so quick to leave the Christian faith? What's going on? If it's happening to these guys who have a, a platform, I'm sure it's happening to people who may not have such a big platform. And I was reading through Galatians and the very first part of the letter that Paul writes, he says, Oh Galatians, how have you turned so quickly back to the law? How have you turned to a so quickly to another gospel other than the gospel that I've presented you, the gospel of Jesus Christ? How have you turned to a false gospel of work instead of the true gospel of grace? And it hit me. This is exactly what's going on in the church. Paul actually talked about how he struggled with the fact that he didn't have any connection with people, that he didn't have any community, and he was ready for this new sense of community and connection. And if you're not able to have any community and connection with people, it shows to me that you're working too much. And if you're working too much that you can't have this relationship with people, then you can't have that relationship with God because you're working too much. And it hit me, that is exactly what's going on in the church. So many people want to believe in God and they start off believing in God, but then they so quickly turn to a gospel of works. Works to either affirm their belief, works to prove to themselves that they actually believe. And this is the pandemic in the church body. We are so desperately trying to strive to believe in something. We're, we're striving to have a confirmation, have this affirmation. If I can only do this, then I will be a good Christian. We've really learned the Christian talk, the Christian walk. We've learned the Christian actions what we can do to make ourselves look like a Christian. And what it does is it burns us out because we lack the actual meeting with Jesus. We're so busy striving that we don't even have time to kneel at the feet of the one who Christianity is for, Jesus Christ. So this is just it. This is my rant. I'm tired of seeing Christians work so hard to make themselves believe. It's not supposed to be this way. You are not supposed to work for your salvation. You are not supposed to prove to yourself that you believe in God. You're supposed to have an encounter with Him. And it's this encounter with Him that sets everything else apart. And if you're not actually meeting with Christ Himself, what you're doing is you're going to strive for that affection that you can only get at the feet of Jesus.
See, if we're so far away from him because we're so busy doing things in his name, then we'll get so dry and parched that we will be so thirsty for something. But what happens in this false gospel of work is we are taught to serve, to work, to do this, to do that. And we don't ever get to the feet to be nourished. And so what happens is when we become dry in the works, we become angry. And that's what Paul Maxwell said. He says, I am so ready to not be angry anymore. If you're angry because you're working so hard and you're not seeing the fruit, I encourage you, turn to the tree himself, Jesus Christ, and let him water you, let him be the nutrients for you, eat him, drink him, and let him do the work through you. You don't have to do the work. If we're trying to do it apart from Christ, it is just a false gospel. It is a gospel of vanity and it is not truth. And if we are not with the truth himself, we will die trying so hard when all it is is a simple surrender and he'll do all the work through us. So guys, I'm, I know this is a rant, I know this is a longer video, but I just wanna encourage you, do not follow the footsteps of these people that are rejecting Christ because they're rejecting Christianity out of hurt because they're bitter, because the work hasn't done anything for them. They are mad because the work has left them dry. They are upset because they've studied hours and hours and hours. They've written songs. They've done all these things for Christ in the name of Christ. Yet they never actually spent time with Christ. And therefore now they are burned out and they're rejecting the idea entirely. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. The enemy wants you to get into this false gospel of work and striving because he knows that's where you can be defeated. And if he can get you there, he knows that it'll be an easy snare. But I just want to encourage you guys, turn your eyes to Jesus, lay at his feet and enjoy him. And your life will be completely different. God bless guys. Thank you.